welcome friends here some more two more examples on solution of pde of the form of pp plus qq equal to r type i would like to solve here okay here the example is x into y square plus z into bracket p minus y into x square plus z into q equal to z into x square minus y square let me write the auxiliary equation for this first auxiliary equation is given by dx divided by x into y square plus z dy divided by minus y into x square plus z equal to dz divided by z into x square minus y square okay this one i have to evaluate if i consider any two of the combinations then no term is going to cancel that's why i have to go for the choosing the multipliers and how can i choose the multipliers here so that the addition of the denominator must be equal to zero i have to just think if this x y and z is not there then what happens here y square plus z minus x square plus minus z plus z minus z cancels then minus x square has remained then x square minus x square plus x square cancels plus y square minus y square. therefore i have this x minus y and z should not be there then they will go to cancel that's why first set of multipliers i will select them as choose the multipliers choose the multipliers multipliers as 1 by x 1 by y 1 by z therefore what happens here 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz is equal to constant k into bracket multiplying by 1 by x and already x is there into y square plus z minus plus 1 by y I am multiplying but here it is already minus y into x square plus z is there plus 1 by z into z into x square minus y square simplifying this k into x is cancels y square plus z y y cancels minus x square minus z z z cancels plus x square minus y square plus y square minus y square minus x square plus x square plus z minus z cancels that is equal to 0 that is 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz is equal to 0 this is integrable on integration i am going to get log x plus log y plus log z is equal to constant c i have to check that i will take it as a log c1 therefore using the properties of log i can write it as a log of x y z equal to log c1 or x y z is equal to c1 i can write this is the first solution like this i have to select the another set of multipliers so that the denominator is going to get cancelled that is going to become zero okay for that just before selecting the multipliers um, let me just think if it becomes x square if I multiply, I choose x, y, and z as a multipliers. If I choose x as a multiplier, x square, y square, plus x z, y square, x square, minus x square, y square, sorry, plus x square, y square, minus x square, y square cancels, plus x z. plus 
एक्स स्क्वायर जेड माइनस वाई स्क्वायर जेड देर फॉर दिस टू टर्म्स विल रिमेन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर देर फॉर लेट मी सेलेक्ट द मल्टीप्लायर्स एज नाउ देन ओके चूज द मल्टीप्लायर्स चूज द मल्टीप्लायर्स एज एक्स वाई एंड माइनस वन so that the left hand side also must be integrable therefore x dx plus or minus y dy minus 1 into dz is equal to k into x is multiplied again here that will become x into x x square y square plus z again i am multiplying by y minus y square into x square plus z minus 1 into z into x square minus y square simplify this k into x square y square plus x square z minus y square x square minus y square z minus z x square plus x y square just check it whether they are going to cancel or not here plus x square y square minus x square y square cancels x square z plus and here it is minus correct therefore minus y square z cancels therefore what i have chosen multiplies is correct okay which implies x dx minus y dy minus dz is equal to 0 on integration on integration x square divided by 2 minus y square divided by 2 minus z is equal to c2 or I can write it as a x square minus y square minus 2z is equal to 2c2 this is the second set of solution combining these two together will become a general solution therefore this is nothing but f of x y z comma x square minus y square minus 2z is equal to 0 is the required general solution Okay, I will like to solve one more example on this one. Here to solve y minus z into p plus x minus z into q is equal to y minus x. For this example again auxiliary equation is given by dx divided by z minus y dy divided by x minus z and dz divided by y minus x okay then if i choose any two of them it is not possible to cancel the terms therefore because of if they are multiplied they will i could have cancelled but they are addition subtractions are there therefore i have to go for the choosing the multipliers okay minus plus z minus z y minus y plus y and my plus x minus x cancel therefore let me choose the multipliers choose multipliers as 1 1 1 therefore 1 dx plus 1 dy plus 1 dz is equal to k into k into 1 into x uh, z minus y plus 1 into x minus z plus 1 into y minus x that is k into z minus y plus x minus z plus y minus x plus z minus z plus minus y minus y cancels which is equal to 0 therefore dx plus dy plus dz is equal to 0 on integration 
I am going to get them as x plus y plus z is equal to c1. Okay. Similarly, another set of multipliers I have to select. Choose multipliers as how what I should select again. If I multiply this one by x, xz, xy, xz, xy, like that, okay, x, y, z, let me select and check. Therefore, x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to k into x into z minus y plus y into x minus z plus z into y minus x which is equal to k into xz minus xy plus yx minus yz plus zy minus zx plus xz minus zx minus xy plus xy and then yz minus plus yz therefore x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to 0. On integration, I am going to get x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to c2 or x square plus y square plus z square equal to 2c2 is my another solution. Combining the two solutions, I will get f of x plus y plus z comma x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0 is the required general solution. Thank you friends. Please subscribe my channel and give the comments. Thank you.